In this video, I'll talk about the Z-roughing work in ArtCam. Z-roughing is very useful when you do relief work. Okay, here I created a simple relief, just a curved um, surface here. And now I show you the Z-roughing. What does the Z-roughing work do for you? Okay. First, I created a laser level roughing to path with a sorry with a roughing to end mill twelve millimeter. And uh, with the uh, step over size, I think um, for the rough we can make it even larger, such as 80%. And Select and uh, select it here and uh, generate the two path. So can simulate it. So you can see, this is the effect here. And uh, if we see a more slowly simulation, you can see how the two moves. It moves very fast and with a big step. And the whole relief is divided into three steps. Okay, that's it. And then I use a similar two, but a bore nose. Also the same diameter. The two shank diameter is the same, 12 millimeter. And uh, here I keep all these by default. And uh, use these two to make a machining to pass. And because we have already do the roughing, so we needn't um, make it multiple the passes here. So see here I unchecked here. Okay. Okay, during the progress, I press ESC and I press e yes. So you can see these are these were done these were done by the Z roughing to pass and these are the Machining relief. Okay, so now you can see if we do the machining without doing the roughing, you have to use the bar nose to remove the material here, and bar nose is not so efficient as end mill tools to remove materials from your workpiece. So that's it. Especially when you do some complex relief, do a Z-roughing work will make your um, work um, will save you more time, will save you much time. And besides, 
it should be um, more efficient because if you you use only the ball nose or the vivid top tooth um, to do the relief in passes, you can you can imagine you have to use the same tool, the the same tool um, for a very very long time, and if the tool breaks during the work, uh, that's very terrible. You may have your whole workpiece damaged and uh, waste your workpiece material and waste your time. So if you do relief work, especially in a large size, choose a proper end mill to do the wrapping first and then use your finishing machining tool to do the relief work. Okay, hope you understand.